Oma, I mean, you're part of the political class in, in, in your part of the world. Where's the moral compass of nowadays leaders? Uh, well, I mean, that, that would put me in a bit of a difficult position. Of course, our leaders have the greatest moral compass out there. <laughs> um, and, you know, uh, I can't comment on the moral compass in the West, mm -hmm. but there, there does seem to be a bit but, of confusion. But you're allowed to, com to, to, com to, to, to comment on that. Well, why not? Well, I, you I, know I was, the best. I, I was going to say I'm not going to comment, but then I would comment. Okay, um, good. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a, li a little manipulation and distraction. Um, uh, the, uh, it, we, we look at um, Western countries and think, where is your moral compass? Where is your backbone? Where is, you know, you're standing up for your own principle. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be a kind of a tolerance of absolutely everything and mm -hmm. uh, a bending over backwards. Uh, uh, and, and that sort of, that worries us. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we, you know, and I think that's had a, a, a kind of a, a a positive and reinforcing effect in our own societies where we've actually taken control of um, very powerful narratives. We've actually, we've, we've gone to analyze them and to see what are the forces that are driving them? What are they preying on? And, you know, clearly we in, in, in the Middle East have greater control over these public narratives mm -hmm. and, and funding for it. And so we're, we're attacking the funding sources as, as, as the initial point. Um, and and, and we, we, we have um, been forced in a, in a situation where we've limited um, certain kinds of narrative mm -hmm. um, because uh, of the instability that they uh, induce and because of the, um, the, the, the preying on anxieties um, of a, a you know, very traditional understanding of Islam colliding with uh, the modern world, mm -hmm. uh, uh, technology being you know, the, the, the greatest force mm -hmm. uh, there. So uh, I, 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 in, in a sense, we, we never really took um, a, a proactive role in, in, in defining uh, ourselves. Um, we were very, and particularly in the Emirates, we're a very small country. Um, we, we focused on economic development and making sure that we, the, 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 the finite resources that we had could be well spent. Uh, now we've come to understand that actually there is the life of the mind, uh, that you know, memes travel vast, um, that social media has a great, tremendous effect and a destabilizing effect on the, the cohesion of our societies. Um, and so it's, it's, it's recognizing the life of the mind um, and uh, mental health uh, at a government level, which is a massive kind of break with traditional taboos in the Arab world. Um, so, well, this, this is um, our uh, 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 kind of beginning uh, to, to actually acknowledge anxiety as a mental state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but why is it that you lost your faith in the Western world? Uh, you, I think we've, we've spent so much time in interacting with the West, with the US and Western Europe, and we've seen a kind of, uh, I suppose we, we have some fa fairly clear ideas of ethnicity, uh, and then we turn up in, in London and all of a sudden you can't find a, a Londoner or, or, or an Englishman in London, and you begin to wonder, well, what's going on here? Where, where am I? Um, and, you know, we have a, we have a, a, a um, perhaps a manufactured and imagined sort of sense of who we are, um, but it's it's much clearer to to be in the Arab world than it is to be an Arab in in London.